Ask Reddit by Stealthy with a Ninja. What's something you did that seemed harmless at the time, but actually proved to be extremely dangerous? When I was around 12 years old I went for a hike with a friend we didn't tell anyone where we were going and my parents thought we were playing in the backyard. Well our hike took us through the forest to a frozen river which we decided to walk across. Since it was spring the ice wasn't as thick as we thought it was and I ended falling through. My friend quickly grabbed me and pulled me backwards out of the water. The water was flowing surprisingly fast and I remember at the time thinking how lucky I was that he was there to catch me. That was over 25 years ago and I still have flashbacks to that and think what if. Nobody knew where we were, and if he didn't catch me I could have easily been swept under the ice. My two brothers and I did this one winter. The pond down the street from our house was frozen over. We all thought it would be fun to walk over it. The ice broke underneath my brother and he fell through. He was able to lift himself out of it. I was the youngest, around 8 at the time. He begged me and our brother not to tell our mom. Now that I have kids I see the danger in everything I did as a child. Mixing bleach and vinegar with hot water to mop the floors, then getting really lightheaded so I would sit near the bucket of chemical warfare I had created. On a similar note making potions with all the mystery goops and chemicals under the bathroom sink. I kept them in little film canisters. That could have gone south very quickly. Mid 70s, Ted Bundy era, Salt Lake City. I hitchhiked occasionally at night. Got a lift from downtown to the suburbs in a white van. Halfway there is the turn off to Park City and the driver says to me now is where I usually take off up the canyon and have my way with you. You should be grateful that I have other things to do tonight. 15 minutes later he drops me off a bit away from my house and I go to open the door and you can't open the passenger door from the inside and you can't roll the window down. He gets out, opens the door for me and tells me that I should probably be more cautious about who I get rides from. What the fuck? I replaced my garage door spring before reading that they're hella dangerous. Ignorance is bliss. Unless it kills you and leaves behind a mangled corpse. Skitching holding onto the side of a car while standing on a skateboard, like Marty McFly dart. At a certain speed, the skateboard truck would uncontrollably wobble and shoot out from under me. We were smart though and only did this in a parking lot. I used to do this. It helped get me a job as a helper on a garbage truck, so there's that. Drinking excessively and passing out alone regularly. Very recently I got blackout drunk, first time it's ever happened, and it's a damn good thing I was on my side, cause when I woke up, there was puke everywhere. I don't even remember throwing up. The amount of random unidentified pills I took in my 20s. I recall finding a bag of pills in the floor at a raven being so excited to try them. There was four of us and we just dived in and had one each without a care in the world. Maybe it was due to no adulterated pills back then. No fentanyl, no opioids. The worst that could happen in my opinion back then was that they were duds and did nothing. There's no way I would do that now. I joined a crowd that surged and overwhelmed the entrances to the Rolling Stones general admission show in 1979 a few weeks later, the tragedy at the Who's show in Cincinnati occurred. Surges are why crowds are scary. I think about this sometimes and I'm really grateful that it turned out like it did. I lived with my parents for a few months after college, I was 22, before starting a new job. My dad left one morning to go do something, I'm assuming going to check out garage sales. Maybe 5-10 minutes later, a man came to the door and said he needed to check if our pilot light was on. He came in what looked like a handyman van, and I didn't know much about the stuff, so I said sure. Our furnace was in the basement, but I figured I shouldn't leave him down there alone so that nothing went missing. Thankfully, my dad had recently adopted a dog and he stuck by my side. The guy was in and out pretty quickly. When I told my parents about it, they had no idea what I was talking about. 
it really set in several years later that there was a very good chance that guy had nothing to do with Furnace Ma. R.I.P. Coley, thanks for watching out for me. Deleted. Thinking an MRSA infection was just a spider bite I could tough out. Lol I was starting to get gangrene. We were picnicking near a lake in northern CA that was full of salamanders. I caught one and was walking around showing it to people. I found out later that their skin secretes tetrodotoxin which is super toxic, especially if ingested in hindsight I'm hella glad I washed my hands before eating pizza. Yeah always wash your hands after touching reptilians, toads, and drugs if you don't know what that species does specifically because Allah do that. While in New Orleans, I got in a car I thought was my Uber but wasn't, ended up getting driven and drowned and eventually robbed at a gas station by the people who were my Uber. Luckily they only stole my phone and debit card but easily could have been taken somewhere and the shit kicked out of me or worse. Also extremely lucky I got about 90% of the $6k they pulled from my account Venmoing themselves. Word of advice, always check the license plate. I never hop in there, if it doesn't match. My neighbor had a set of lawn darts. We all survived. Throw the darts, tend to the wounded, tally the score and amp, if you can go again, throw the darts. Riding on ice chunks down the river in the spring. We are so lucky we didn't fall in and get crushed by giant ice. I just learned this was a thing recently while reading a post about a man who was ice surfing and never made it to his pickup location downstream and has not been seen since. Water can be so scary. Put on my bike helmet and rammed my head into a tree to make my friends laugh. Everything from the shoulders up hurt after that. Can you count to three or? There was a shortcut path we took as kids to get to school in the 1970s. It involved walking across a small, 30m 100 feet, gorge on a 400mm pipe to get to the other side the alternative was an extra mile or so. None of us considered what might happen if we fell off the pipe. In middle school, 2003, I had a friend that walked to school with a group that took a shortcut on a train bridge over a concrete river area. A train came and the rest of her group ran to get off the bridge but she was further back so ran towards the train to get off the bridge that way. She ended up huddled on the side and knocked by the train into the concrete area. Hit her head and died immediately. In high school my friends and I would go swimming at the local quarry we called Icebox. About 50 foot deep and with cliffs that ranged from 20 feet to 75 feet high. There were so many times we came close to drowning with the nearest road being a quarter of a mile away. I live in rural Alaska and when I met my BF I quickly learned he loves ice fishing. We went to lake, my first time, beginning of winter to go ice fishing. I later learned that the lake we went to has a lot of hot spots, and people fall through the ice frequently never to be found again. It's apparently one of the scariest and most dangerous lakes to ice fish on in the area. Had no idea lol. We have some lakes near us that are man-made with dams used for power. Every year you see people out fishing on them and I'm just cringing every time. Just super unstable ice from the dams and the variable water heights. They can even get big air pockets under the ice that people can fall into and get trapped. We also have one town pond that people always try to ice fish and skate on, yet it's used by the town to dump all of the street water into so again, really unstable. Town's official stances don't use it, but people don't listen. Some people just don't care about ice safety sadly, which is why every year people die from it. Road to Jim will fix it. That documentary was vile. And as a childhood saw victim. I knew exactly how that girl in the church happened. Poor lady. It wasn't our fault. Going spelunking in a remote cave in Indiana, with no helmets or safety equipment later found out it routinely floods, and numerous people have died there over the years from drowning and cave-ins. Mixed hydrochloric acid and damp, sodium hydroxide solution. 
I wanted to know if that really produces table salt and damp water. Discovery 1. It does. Discovery 2. It's an exothermic reaction. Are you a chemist now? First time I moved out of my parents I had never used a gas stove before, only electric. I thought you just turned on the gas and kept it on the entire time you cooked. I was standing happily stirring my porridge as the gas tick tick ticked away, assuming the smell was normal for those kind of stoves. My roommate came running down the stairs and shoved me out of the way to turn off the stove. I was confused at her sudden aggression until she explained how stupid I was. Now anytime I do something new that seems mundane I google it first. Swam in a reservoir when I was 19 while working a maintenance job on a hot day. The other guys didn't want to go in but I had a great time splashing about. As we were driving away I noticed the do not swim danger sign depicting someone swimming above enormous turbines. If they'd cycled while I was swimming I'd have been sucked in and torn apart underwater. Damn that is scary af. And don't pour bleach in the litter box to sanitize it. It will mix with the ammonia from the urine and make noxious fumes that will make you sick. Going to the old Buster Brown shoe stores in the early to mid 70s and using their x-ray machine to look at the bones in our feet. Link, https colon slash slash, americacomessalive.com, slash x dash ray dash shoe dash fitting dash machine, slash close bracket. I remember in the 1960s being excited to x-ray my tiny feet at the shoe store. I also remember playing with the tiny blob of mercury from a broken thermometer. Such fun.